27% of medical students around the world exhibit symptoms of depression and 11% have thought of taking their own lives. Equally troubling is the fact that among students experiencing depressive symptoms, only 16% seek psychiatric treatment. The problem with depression isn't only about the sadness, the way simple things can make you cry, or how appealing just stopping becomes, but also how your depression may have significantly impacted the quality of your work, school, and social life. St. John's work may offer you some help against the never-ending battle with your depression. St. John's work may be used for depression, stress relief, promote wound healing, and relieve menopause symptoms. St. John's work is not for everyone. Patients that have been prescribed antidepressants must be evaluated as additive effects may occur with concurrent use of St. John's work. St. John's work interacts with selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors by further increasing the serotonin level in the brain. The concomitant use of St. John's wort and SSRIs are not recommended. Tell your doctor what medications you are taking. Patients who are taking alprazolam, contraceptive drugs, cyclosporin, digoxin, HIV or AIDS medication, omeprazole, oxycodone, phenobarbital, phenytoin, macrolimus, or warfarin should not take St. John's wort. Pregnant women or women who are breastfeeding should consult with your doctor before starting this medication. Side effects may occur such as nausea, vomiting, GI discomfort, dry mouth, abnormal behaviors such as being more aggressive than normal, confusion, and agitation may occur. Allergic reactions such as shortness of breath, swelling of the tongue or throat may occur and in rare cases, St. John Ward can cause severe skin allergies. Patients with Alzheimer's disease, ADHD, bipolar disorder, or schizophrenia should contact their doctor immediately if you experience any of these behaviors or reactions. If you are still struggling with depression, talk to your doctor to see if the option of adding St. John's Word is right for you.